Hey, in the last video, I showed you how to send an email using an intent. We ran the example on two different emulators, one running Android 2.3 and the other running Android 4.2. And we came across a problem, that is, when we ran the application on Android 2.3, the email was sent. That's because uh, the Android 2.3 emulator comes with a default email client. And when we tried the same with the Android 4.2 emulator, the application crashed initially. That's because Android 4.2 does not have a default email client. And hence, we found that if there is no activity present to handle your intent, your application will throw an activity not found exception during runtime. To solve that problem on 4.2, we wrapped the entire code inside a try-catch block and if the exception was thrown, we showed a toast telling that we did not find an email client. There is something primarily wrong with this approach. That is, you should not depend upon exceptions to determine the flow of your program. Uh, you could ask, yes, uh, what if I face an exception while I read or write to a file? That's perfectly fine because you're trying to read a file or you're trying to write a file, that is the primary purpose of that try-catch block. Whereas, in this example, we used the try-catch block to check if an intent is supported or not. This is not the right way to do it. So, I'm going to show you the way how to properly check if an intent is supported. Let's go back to the code. And here, our mission is to eliminate this try catch block. Let me go to the source folder and I'm going to create a new package. New package. com.code here now.utils. And in this package, I'm going to create a new Java class that is called intent utils. I created this class because I'm going to put a method inside this class which will be used in different places. So I'm going to create a new static method that is called static boolean is intent supported. So this method will accept an intent as a parameter and check if that particular intent is supported by the device and written true if it is supported or false otherwise. And we need two parameters here which is the context and the intent. Let's go ahead and import these classes. Save this and press Ctrl 1. Again, yes. And this method should return a boolean value. We are getting this quickly red line because we are not returning any value. We'll do it slowly. And first, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an instance of the package manager. You can get an instance of the package manager from the context. So context would get package manager. Now assign this to a new instance variable package manager is equal to context.get package manager. And now we are going to query the activities which support this intent. To do that, we are going to make a call using the package manager dot query intent activities and here we are going to pass the intent and for the flag we are going to pass package manager dot match default only. In this method will return you a list of activities that support this intent. And finally we are going to check if the size of the list is greater than zero. That's because if you have activities that support this intent your list size will be greater than zero. And if you don't find any activity that can handle this intent you'll get a list with the size zero. So I'm going to return activities dot size is greater than zero. We are done. So let's go back to the email activity. And here 
I'm going to remove this code from the try catch block and let me place it here and before we start the activity we're going to check if intent utils dot is intent supported context is this and we're going to pass the email intent and if the intent is supported we're going to start the activity or else we're going to show a toast that says no email client found we're going to remove the try catch block and we have an error here because we have to use email activity dot this because we are inside the on click listener let's go ahead and run this application on both the emulators first I'm going to run this on Android 4.2 and I'm going to run this again on Android 2.3 let's switch to the emulators The app is ready on Android 2.3. Let's click on send email and again it works as expected. Discard and let's try this on Android 4.2 and it says sorry no email client found. This is the proper way to do it. So if you want to check if an intent is supported then you have to query for it using your package manager. And in this video I showed you how to check if an intent is supported on your device. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.